to show you how to create your own brushes in GIMP 2.6 on a Windows XP operating system. I've already opened the program, so just go to File, select New, and in the Image Size, Width and Height windows, you will want to set the numbers so that they are exactly the same in order to create a perfect square. That's important when you're creating a brush. It has to be in a square. Make sure that the drop-down menu to the right of these windows says Pixels, and then make sure the numbers are the same. Then go to Advanced Options, and in the color space, select Grayscale. In the Fill Width, use the drop-down menu to select White, and click OK. Now this gives you a very small workspace. So zoom in by holding down the control button and scrolling your middle mouse button until you can see what you're working on. Select a brush. Now I'm going to use this one. And then you can begin to draw. And you can draw whatever you would like for your new brush to be. When you're finished, select File, Save As, and when the new menu appears, let me shut all this down, the new menu is going to look like this. It's going to say Save Image. First you'll want to title it. We'll call this one a snake. Then we're going to browse for a folder. You'll go to your administrator account. Double click when you find the GIMP 2.6 <coughs> file. Double click on the Brushes file. And when that opens, you've found the right folder. We'll close that one by left clicking. And next, we'll select the file by type, by extension. Left click on that. Scroll down until you find the one that says GIMP Brush, GBR. And left click, or you can just type in .gbr, and then click Save. Pop-up menu will give you an option, let me slide it in here, to adjust the spacing using the up-down arrows. I'm not going to mess with that right now, I'm just going to click Save. And in order to make my new brush usable, go to the Toolbox menu, let me slide this over, left-click on the icon next to the word Brush, go to the bottom right-hand corner of the menu that appears showing you all of your brushes. The bottom right-hand corner has a paintbrush symbol in it. Left-click on that icon, and that will bring your brushes to the desktop. You can move it around. Go to the bottom right-hand corner and left-click again on the two arrows that look like they're going in a circle, and that's a refresh button that will bring your new brush into this window so that you can use it find the one I just created. There it is now. Left click on it. And I'm just going to close this one to get it out of the way and move my toolbox out of the way. I'll open a new file so you can see how it works. And I'll make this one bigger so we won't have to strain our eyes. We'll just make it U.S. letter size. Now, I've already have that brush selected. Let me increase the size so you can see it to paint with it. I can also use the colors to select new colors to paint with. And that's all there is to making brushes. And those will be available to you anytime you'd like to use them.